Australia is a vast, mysterious continent filled with hidden geological gems and even opals. Mining has shaped the land of the outback, and towns have gone abandoned here after extracting the nearby resources. There is plenty of things to see in the land down under, whether it's a rock wave or a town that's been possibly visited by aliens. Here are the strangest places in Australia. But first, we want to give a quick shout out over here to this person for leaving us this comment. We appreciate your insight and want to hear more about your thoughts. Number 14. Umferston Sinkhole Possibly the most interesting sinkhole on the planet is located in the continent country of Australia. The Umferston Sinkhole is located in Western Australia and has been transformed to a beautiful sunken garden. It formed a while ago when the ceiling of a large subterranean cave collapsed and it was kind of an eyesore to those living in the nearby area. So instead of having a big pit in the ground, a man named James Umferston started planting various plants here in 1886 and created an enchanting garden. Many enjoy coming here at night for some stargazing. Number 13. Wave Rock Whoa, surfs up in Australia and looks like this wave is about to make this lady wipe out. The 47-footer is found in Hyden, Australia, about 300 kilometers east from Perth. This wave is about 350 feet long and made of monzo granite. The photographer certainly took this photo from an amazing angle and it looks like it's seriously about to crash at any moment. It's truly a natural wonder to behold and it was formed in the Cretaceous period about 130 million years ago. Number 12. Base Harold Holt We all know that Pine Gap Operational Base in Australia is quite secretive and mysterious, but what about this place right here on the northwestern tip of the continent? It almost appears as though aliens are leaving some kind of message like they do in crop circles, but this time it's in the isolated desert of the outback. There isn't anything living near the area, and rumor has it that it's a top secret super weapon that can knock out communications inside planes. The geometric patterns seem to be perfectly measured out in the shape of a hexagon. You also notice some antennas sticking out from the shadows. It's known as Base Harold Holt, and the US and Australian Navy claim that it's for making communication between our warships. Others think there's some more sinister purpose behind it, like some type of secret radio waves weapon program. What do you believe? Number 11. The Kalgoorlie Mine, Australia. In the hunt for gold and lots of it, you'd be surprised how it can change the landscape so drastically. This is located in the remote Australian outback in the western part of the country and it's so big that it can be seen from space. The super pit almost looks like it's actually bigger than the city next to it. They originally considered a small number of underground mines, but there was just too much gold. That's why they just built a massive pit that will likely be on the surface of Earth for eternity. In order to get all the gold out, an estimated 15 million tons of rock is moved from the mine each year. In 1989, the super pit we see today was created, and eventually it was acquired by Barrett Gold in 2001. Number 10. Wittenoom, Australia Wittenoom was once a farming town in Western Australia. There really wasn't a whole lot going on for the town, and they needed a way to make money. They seemingly struck it rich when they discovered blue asbestos in a cliffside nearby. This mineral is called crocodolite, and it was far more deadly than they could have possibly imagined. They claim that blue asbestos is 100 times more dangerous than white asbestos. It was used in just about everything including roads, pavements, houses, and even school playgrounds. Residents and most commonly miners of the town began to notice a severe pattern of lung disease, making them become quite concerned with where they were living. Today, the town is completely abandoned and no one is sure if they'll ever be able to clean up this place. Number 9. Uluru or Ayers Rock this iconic image from the middle of Australia is actually a very sacred location for the Aboriginal people on this continent. It wasn't discovered by European explorers until the 1800s. Although people have been climbing this mountain for ages, the Aborigines would really prefer that they didn't. The tribe's people believe that it was made by dreams of ancestral beings. The strange cave formation seem to support their theory and their opinion. If you look at it closely, it really just seems to pop out of nowhere and looks like one single rock. Rising 346 meters high, you can see why this might have been looked at as a sacred site. Number 8. Lake Disappointment If you think you have what it takes to survive the harsh Australian desert, the center of eastern Australia seems to be completely lacking of resources unless you're looking for snakes, toxic chemicals, or uranium. This is home to Lake Disappointment, which really doesn't seem too inviting, so you really shouldn't consider getting your hopes up about living here. The lake is rather salty and someone is probably disappointed. It was actually named by an explorer who found nearby creeks and was hoping to find a big freshwater lake, but to no avail. Some creepy mythical legends say that the area was home to cannibal beans with pointy teeth and claw-like fingers. Probably best is to avoid this area altogether. Number 7. HMAS Karangi There's tens of thousands of shipwrecks out there, and Google Maps is a safe way to explore them. 
The HMS Kurangi, located in Australia, was operated by the Royal Australian Navy and was launched in 1941. The vessels participated in atomic testing after WW2 at the Montebello Islands, so it's possible that it's radioactive. It's been partially scrapped, but you can see some vegetation growing out of it, which makes it quite creepy. It's kind of difficult to see because many vines and plants are growing out of it. It almost just seems to be an island and not even a ship at all. Number 6. Cooper Petty This isolated community is found in the Australian outback in the southern part of the continent and consists of 1,762 people. Many of the people here are of Aboriginal descent. The town is renowned for its opal production, giving it the nickname of the opal capital of the world. Many of the inhabitants turn for shelter underground due to the hot temperatures during summer. Guests who make it out here somehow have the option to live like the locals in an underground hotel room like we see here. Cuba Petty is extremely isolated and gain here is no easy task. It's positioned 846 kilometers north of Adelaide and 645 kilometers south of Alex Springs. Visitors can also check out the Amuna Opal Mine to get a taste of the culture here. Number 5. Peak Lake, Australia Despite it being fairly well known, this bright pink lake has to be the strangest lake out there in the world hands down. Located in Western Australia, it's also known as Lake Hillier, and every day of the year, it's a solid bubblegum pink. The lake is about 1900 meters wide and completely surrounded by eucalyptus trees and a small sand dune. No one understands completely how it stays pink, but some scientists believe that it's a unique dye created from bacteria that feed off salt. In case you were wondering, it is safe to swim here. The guy that took the first dip though must have been pretty brave. The best way to view this lake though is from the sky. Number 4. Shell Beach On the more remote side of Australia, you'll come across the unique Shell Beach located in the Shark Bay World Heritage Area. This place is made of trillions of tiny Hamelin cockle shells. The little mollusks are no longer living in the shells, but they've left them there so you can enjoy this cool beach, right? It's actually one of the two beaches entirely made of shells. Due to the high salinity or salt levels at this beach, the cockle has virtually no predators and are able to flourish in the area. If you manage to dig beneath about 30 feet of shells, you run into what's known as a coquina, which is a type of limestone formed from them. Number 3. Lake Mackenzie Located on Fraser Island on the eastern coast of Australia, this lake is so pure that animals can't even survive in it. How is that possible? Now that's one pure lake. The acid levels are a little bit high, but it's said to be made of purely rainwater. It almost makes you wonder if rainwater is still a fresh source of water with all the air pollution going on. But in any case, the pure silica beaches are certainly inviting. It's one of the most visited natural bodies of water in Australia, and the only other thing in this lake is basically sunscreen. Also, in case you didn't notice, the lake would be perfect to go on during your honeymoon because it's shaped like a heart. Number 2. Wangina Rock Art The spooky rock art found in Western Australia was created by Aboriginal tribes who would have had no Western influence of our depiction of aliens. Despite this, you'll still find some pretty weird petroglyphs of what seems to be very similar to how we would describe aliens. With a large head, big eyes, and an odd-shaped body, these paintings were extremely important to them. They were even given several coats of painting. The aboriginals claim that these were weather spirits who had the capability to create rainfall. Number 1. The White Cliff Well Also known as the alien capital of Australia, here's another place located in Australian outback where things start to get a little bit weird. It's located in the middle of the harsh desert near Alice Springs and has been home to many sightings of aliens. It's kind of like one of those places along the dusty trail here in the US where you can grab a cheeseburger and take some tacky photos. Travelers first set up the town dating back here since the mid-1800s. But it wasn't until WW2 when people started reporting some visitors from out of this world. It managed to rank as the fifth top reported UFO activity spot in the world. There were some logs from a serviceman who kept records of all the mysterious sightings, but it was actually stolen. The residents certainly didn't appreciate that, but a new log has taken its place. People who've had extraterrestrial encounters can write about their experience in the log. There's also some fine Australian beer for you to drink, which might help you hunt down some aliens. Wow, now that was an interesting video. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and leave us a suggestion on what you'd like to see in the future. We'll see you next time.